you can see a little something like I'm not completely covered up but I'm also not showing you anything like there's an art to sexiness Hey girl, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Trinity. If you're new here, today we're going to be discussing how to be more feminine. I already have a video on how to be more feminine, but y'all seem to love that and I had a lot of people requesting a part two, so here we are. If you're not new here, then you know I am all about practicality and I'm going to give you simple, realistic ways to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. And of course, this video is no different. So if you love this type of content, if you're into personal development, self-development type content, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Tip number one is to be more mysterious. And this tip covers a good amount of things generally people don't need to know everything about you when they first see you or first meet you or maybe not even at all especially if they're not people who are close to you a lot of women make the mistake of sharing too much whether it be verbally or just physically physically meaning you're walking around with all your stuff hanging out we can see everything like there's no mystery to you a man doesn't even have to get you undressed to know what you look like underneath your clothes but we'll get back to that in a second while on my journey to become and feel more feminine i realized that i don't have to talk that much i don't have to say everything that's on my mind at every moment i don't have to tell people everything about me especially men in the dating stage a lot of women make the mistake of telling a man every single thing they want everything they're looking for everything they desire and that might seem like a good thing because it might seem like you're being very direct and telling him exactly what you want so that he can do it. But it can also backfire because he knows exactly what to do to get you. And when a man knows exactly what to do, although it may not be in him, he's not able to keep that up for a really long time. And you might catch feelings before he stops his little act. Now, you told him one thing and you're doing another thing because you're accepting less than what you told him you wanted. Don't say much. You can give little hints and that's not playing mind games at all. But a man who really knows how to treat a woman doesn't need you to give him the rundown on how to treat you anyway. You don't have to be loud. You should not be the loudest person in the room because femininity is all about softness you're not being soft if you're being super loud all the time you can be fun and have fun without being loud and like I said clothes you want to be mysterious even with what you're wearing you don't have to walk around with your girls out with your booty cheeks hanging out you can show a little skin I mean right now some will say that I'm showing skin but I'm still pretty covered up y'all can't see but I got jeans on and it doesn't look trashy and i'm not overly revealing and i know someone's probably thinking well i want to look sexy sexy does not mean naked sexy does not mean showing everything this what i got going on might be considered sexy because you can see a little something like i'm not completely covered up but i'm also not showing you anything like there's an art to sexiness and that's something you really have to master if you want to look and feel more feminine while we're on the topic of clothing you want to make sure you're wearing clothes that flatter your body this is something that i feel like i've mastered within the last year or two because i know how to dress for my body type someone commented on my video a few days ago asking me to share where i get a lot of my fitted tops from because in 90% of my videos, I'm wearing a simple fitted top. I personally feel like when I wear big t-shirts or just shirts that are not fitted, I like drown in them. I just feel so much more put together and polished when I have on a fitted top. There was a post that went around like, are you little shirt big pants or big shirt little pants or whatever, something like that. And all my friends say that I am little shirt big pants because I wear a fitted shirt or I wear a crop top and my pants can be a little loose. I wear a baggy pant, a parachute pant, cargo pants. That's just personal preference. And to me, it flows well because I feel like you can really see my silhouette that way. I don't have much up here. I have more down bottom than I do up top. So you would think that I would do it the other way around. But to me, it flows well the way I do it. And I'm very big on my clothes fitting me right. Now, like I said, a lot of the time, my bottoms are a little looser than my tops. But... I need my stuff to fit me perfectly in the waist. I need you to be able to see some type of shape. I'm not drowning in my bottoms, although they're loose. I'm just very intentional about everything that I wear. Femininity is all about like flow and movement. And that even comes down to your outfit. I feel like when you can see my silhouette and my shape, no matter what I'm wearing, whether I'm wearing loose fitted clothes or fitted clothes, you can see the movement. You can see the curves. Now, one thing I started doing in order to make sure my clothes fit me perfectly is tailoring specifically for my jeans i ran into a situation recently where 
I did not have time to get my jeans tailored for where I was going. But I'm gonna show y'all something I discovered recently. I went on Amazon and I found these buttons that you can just snap right into your jeans so that they can fit you in your waist. So this is the button that came on the jeans and this is the one that I got from Amazon because I only needed the waist taken in just a little bit. And you literally just button your pants like normal. And now they fit perfectly in the waist. And they were like $6, they came overnight on Amazon so I will link those down below. If you have an issue with your jeans not fitting you in the waist, I'm telling you, buy these little buttons because sometimes you don't wanna spend 40, $50 to get your jeans tailored. Another tip relating to physical appearance is to wear jewelry. This is another thing I get asked about a lot in the comments, but wearing jewelry definitely does make a difference. And that's something that I became more intentional about when I wanted to look and feel more feminine. I like everyday jewelry. I have some rings that I switch out because some are more like statement pieces, but for the most part, I don't mind my rings being a little busy just cause my nails are usually busy. But if you're not new here, then you know that I'm pretty much a minimalist when it comes to everything outside of my nails. So today I have on this dainty little choker necklace. My friend Sydney actually bought this for me for my birthday. It is from Design Gold Jewelry. I also wear my JBW watch every single day. This is the, I don't even know. I don't know what it's called. Once again, it'll be linked down below. This is a two-tone watch. I love two-tone. I used to be just a gold girl. Something about the two-tone just gives me grown. And I love mixing metals now. Like, I never thought I would be that girl, but I'm that girl. And it's nice and small and dainty. I didn't used to like watches a while ago and I never cared about buying one because I felt like a lot of them looked very masculine because they were really big and I didn't want anything big and bulky. So I was very careful and selective when picking out a watch. And I love this, perfect for every day. It looks good when you're dressed up, looks good when you're dressed down. And then I have my small little David Yerman cable bracelet that my boyfriend got me. This one is two-tone as well. These rings on this hand are from my nail tech. I don't know where she got these from. And this one is also from my nail tech. This one on my thumb is from Preciously Polished, I believe they're called. I don't take this one off. Now, the more statement pieces, I take them off because I'm not sure if they tarnish just because I didn't buy them. And this one right here, which I actually have two more of, this is from Banter, which was previously Piercing Pagoda. This little simple band right here is like $80, but it does not tarnish and I never take it off. The only reason why I took off my other two is because I wanted to wear my statement jewelry, but whatever. Anyway, like I was saying, jewelry period really pulls your look together and just helps you to look more feminine, especially when you're wearing dainty jewelry. You also wanna make sure you're smelling good at all times. That is like the ultimate way to feel more feminine. A woman should always smell good. First of all, Everybody should smell good because I love me a good smelling man, okay? When my man got cologne on, I just wanna live in his skin and just sniff his neck all day long. Something about someone smelling good just makes me feel like they take good care of themselves. And like I said in part one, yes, these are all tips that other people will probably notice, but a lot of this stuff is for you. Smelling good will make you feel good. It'll make you feel more confident. It'll make you feel more feminine, more womanly because you'll be getting whiffs of your scent all throughout the day. And it'll just remind you that you took an extra step to take care of yourself that day. I have different fragrances for different moods, for different occasions. Today, it is 85 degrees in Baltimore and I'm going outside. Me and Sydney are gonna go get some drinks. So I'm wearing more of like a spring, summer, flirty type fragrance. I'm wearing Twilly by Hermes. It's a great summertime fragrance because it just gives really floral, fruity, girly type vibes. I don't know. But yeah, get you some smell good body lotions, body creams, body oils. I'm wearing an unscented body lotion right now. The Fenty Body Cream that has like a little bit of a scent. A body oil and my perfume. Your girl is smelling good. My next tip is to be more inviting and to not look so unapproachable. If you're out and about, try to smile a little bit more. When you make eye contact with someone, do a little smile, a little smirk to show them that you are a nice, approachable person. I mean, maybe not nice. I know everybody doesn't like the word nice, but try to make yourself seem more approachable, especially if you're single and you're trying to get men to come up to you more often. A lot of men will not approach you if you look unapproachable. If they can look at you and tell that you're probably going to reject them or say something smart rude whatever they're probably not going to say anything to you so give a little smile every now and then i used to walk around with a resting you know what face and i had this attitude like well i don't want anyone to approach me anyway so i wasn't intentionally looking unapproachable 
But when it was brought up to me, I confirmed that I didn't want to be approached. Your body language can throw people off sometimes, so try to seem more approachable. And even if you're not interested, you don't have to be rude, you don't have to be like standoffish. You can politely turn someone down, reject them in a nice way, so that you can still be in your feminine energy. Cause being like, boy, what? Why would I ever talk to you is not feminine at all. And that leads me to the next thing. Don't be so aggressive. If you wanna be more feminine, softer, more womanly, you cannot be super aggressive. Now, I just used the example of someone trying to approach you and you saying, boy, what? I'm not trying to talk to you. I don't wanna talk to you. I got a boyfriend, I got a man, I got a husband. That's aggressive, but also, when you're talking to your man on a day-to-day -day basis, don't be aggressive with him. If you wanna be treated like a princess, if you want princess treatment, you wanna be treated like a delicate flower, a damsel in distress, you can't be aggressive. Because the man is just gonna look at you like, well, why do you want me to be soft with you if you're not a soft being at all? If you talk real loud all the time, just talk real hard and talk at your man or talk at people in general, because we're not even just talking about romantic relationships, you will never be seen as a soft being. Your tone matters, especially when dealing with men because they like to have their little ego strokes. So sometimes you gotta talk to him like he's the man and you're just, the princess who's just there. I don't know, I don't really, I don't feel like I know how to explain that very well, but y'all should get the point. Now while we're talking about language and how you talk to people, some of y'all not gonna like this one, or maybe you will, because I feel like if you click on this video, then you know this is coming at some point. Your language matters. So if you wanna be seen as a feminine being, even if you wanna just feel more feminine, you don't need to be cursing. Now, me, I told y'all a while ago that I'm working on the cursing thing, when I'm with my friends, it's a whole different story. Now, if we out in public, you're not gonna catch me here. Not to where anyone can hear me, but yeah, y'all get the point. When I'm out in public, I am not just rah, 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 cursing, dropping F-bombs. I mean, I'm not gonna just be dropping F-bombs for no reason anyway, but still. When I'm out, I'm not being real loud and aggressive and just using curse words every five seconds. I'm just not, because I'm mindful of my surroundings and Yes, oftentimes I tell y'all, you need to stop worrying about what everyone thinks about you. Don't be so invested in other people's opinions of you. But in some cases, you should be worried about how you're being perceived. I personally don't want nobody running around telling everybody that I just be cussing every five seconds. Like, I, I don't want that. Now, like I said, when I'm with my friends and we're by ourselves in someone's home, I might talk a little different, but I know how to turn it off. And that's another thing. There has to be a time and a place for everything. If you want to twerk and you want to curse and you want to just act like a city girl, fine, by all means. But there has to be a time and a place for all that stuff. And that's one of the major reasons why I love my friend group so much because I feel like we know how to turn the switch on and turn the switch off. We're not about to be out in public at a restaurant twerking, being loud, screaming sexy Ray lyrics. Like, we're just not doing that. Now, there are certain settings where that may be a little bit more appropriate, but like, Right now, me and Sydney are about to go out for drinks. And yes, there may be times where our friends might be throwing back shots. Now, y'all know I'm not a shots girl. I don't even drink that much anymore. There are certain settings where you may be taking shots, throwing them back, but there's also a time where you need to be ordering cute little girly drinks. Like, we're about to go get nice little cocktails. This is not the time to be ordering shots. We're not drinking liquor straight today. I knew how to dress for the occasion. I got on my simple little black bodysuit, showing a little bit of skin because it's hot outside. Got on some high waist mom jeans with some cute little sandals. Got my jewelry on, my little dainty jewelry. My hair is pulled back in a ponytail so you can actually see my face. I got my soft makeup on. I'm fitting the vibe, but time and place, is a very important concept that you need to master. Another tip is to learn how to regulate your emotions. Now, I mentioned this in the first video, but you should embrace your vulnerability as a woman, especially when you want to come across as more feminine and where you just want to feel more feminine. You shouldn't mind expressing your feelings to your partner, to your friends, to whoever is around you. Because as a woman, your vulnerability is your strength, your ability to express your emotions and feel certain emotions is your strength. But I think a lot of women, especially women who have gone through a lot of trauma, especially in relationships, if you've been cheated on, if you've been in situations where a man broke your trust, if you've been in situations where men didn't really allow you to embrace your femininity and you had to be masculine, then you either don't show your feminine side at all or you shut down real quick 
real bad when someone does something that makes you feel unsafe. Now, this is important to note because this is where your emotional regulation is gonna have to come in. In my last long-term relationship before the one that I'm currently in, I did not feel emotionally safe at all for numerous reasons. So when I got into my current relationship in the very beginning, if he did anything that made me feel emotionally unsafe, I shut down and my masculine switch just went right up. And oftentimes I was hurt, but it didn't come across as hurt or sad it came across as angry because i didn't know how to regulate my emotions because my feelings were hurt and because i felt unsafe and because i felt neglected because i felt those ways i started lashing out and like i said that is a very masculine thing to do you don't have to lash out just because your feelings are hurt you don't have to start talking any kind of way and being rude and saying all these mean hurtful things because someone hurt your feelings no you can express to that person that they hurt your feelings. There's no shame in that. I used to feel weak when I did that. I used to feel like if I cried because something hurt my feelings or if I told the person like, you really hurt me, I felt like I was being weak. But I noticed now that there's strength in telling my man like, I didn't like when you did this. That made me feel X, Y, Z. This is how this makes me feel. And that is something you have to master as a woman, especially if you wanna have healthy relationships with men who allow you to be feminine and lastly this isn't one that i hear a lot of people mention but it's something that i have noticed makes me feel more feminine and it's something that i have noticed in other women who are very soft the last tip is to compliment other women the reason why this makes you seem softer and more feminine is because a lot of women who really live in their masculine energy are jealous competitive insecure so complimenting other women just shows that you don't have those traits it shows that you can see beauty in someone else and that you're not in competition with everyone who's around you. Now, if you are insecure and if you do have low confidence, that might be something that you have to practice. You might have to actually practice complimenting women. And I'm not saying be fake. Don't walk up to someone and tell them you like their outfit if you don't really like their outfit. But when you acknowledge mentally that someone is beautiful, that they look nice, that their outfit is nice, that their nails are cute, their shoes are cute, whatever, say that. Anyone who's ever met me in real life can vouch for the fact that I do not mind giving other women compliments. Now, this is something that I didn't do as often when I was very insecure and had low confidence, especially if I was around my man, you would not catch me complimenting another woman because I didn't even want him to start getting any ideas. But now I can be out with him. I can be out with my friends, whoever. If a girl walks by and she's pretty, I'll say, you look really pretty or I really like your hair. I love your outfit. Your skin is so nice. Like, I don't mind saying those things because I'm confident in who I am and I can appreciate beauty in someone else. So like I said, don't be fake. Don't just make up stuff. Don't pull stuff out of the sky, but start making it a habit to compliment other women. Compliment at least one person a day. So that's all for this video. Like I said, if you have not seen part one, make sure you go watch that. I'll link it down below in the description box as well as everything else that I mentioned today in this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.